Last weekend right. was the Libertarian Party National Convention, the party of unfettered personal liberty and optional personal hygiene. <laughs> the event was put together by actress Kate Blanchett, going by her oh. pseudonym of Angela McArdle, hosted in the city Libertarians decided best represents liberty and freedom, Washington, D.C. Oh. <laughs> What made this year's convention stand out was the number of famous attendees from outside of LP circles, uh, kicking off with Congressman Thomas Massey of Kentucky, who was there to show libertarians <laughs> what it's like to have principles and success. And after that, you had a roundtable discussion with Vivek Ramaswamy, comedian Dave Smith, and angry bald white guy. Following them came the third place candidate speaking to the third biggest political party in America. It was pre-assassinated Kennedy, who won libertarians oh. over with his positions on the pandemic, but turned right around and lost them after refusing to offer photo ops with his tapeworm. <laughs> of course, the moment everyone was waiting for was next. Kate Blanchett introduced former President Donald Trump, who had just spent the last five minutes Googling what is a libertarian and then clicked on Cato Institute. <laughs> Finally, it was time for the presidential nomination. And after seven rounds, seven rounds of voting, wow. the guy who was a Marxist 15 minutes ago and can't handle an extra strength of leave was defeated by a child sexual predator. <laughs> and with that, so ends the infamous Mises Caucus of the Libertarian Party who wanted to have a comedian as their nominee, but instead, they got a joke. <laughs> yeah. There he is. <laughs>